Day two and three. Nine thirty nine PM October fifth, two thousand fifteen. Yoga. Yoga. I did yoga on day two. I felt like a branch in the wind and a stone in the river. To do yoga is to return to nature. Like a branch attached to a deep rooted tree or a stone heavy in its place down in the river. So are we. In place we stay, which represents earthly attachments. The stone, the branch, even so let go of its former place and changes, grows into new. The branch may lose its leaves, the stone, due to years of erosion from the ever-flowing water, loses its original form, its original form and color. The branch may fall to the ground due to strong winds, yet the stone smooths out and takes new form. It may shed its original color, even place, yet neither stone or branch resists or complain this change, this growth, this transformation only accepts. We are no less or greater than they. No matter what we face, what we may lose or gain, we must accept this growth as transformation. Just like the branch falls, and so does its leaves, it returns to earth. The stone may move, but it remains on earth. Have no attachments on earth, in your life. The change, nor good or bad, is divine necessity. For you to transform into yourself, your true self, God. So if you're going to be attached, be attached to spirit. Divine necessity. It is, the, it is a divine necessity to return to earth. All is of and is earth. And that all makes us one. And that one is God. Transform into God. And do yoga. Shah Arjuna. Day two and three.